Hi, welcome to our reading for May 2018. Now, remember it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We are all spiritual. We are all psychic. We are all children of God, but we're not all going through the same thing at the same time, at the same pace. This could clarify the past, it could shed light into the future, or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody so we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope this reading is helpful, and I'll see you in a moment. Cancer, welcome to our reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in May 2018. Now, I'm doing something a little different for the readings this month, and I put Pandora on Random Shuffle. And the song that came through for Cancer was Turn Me On by Nora Jones. Beautiful song. I actually forgot about that one. So I'm going to put that one below for you. Let's begin the reading. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We're going to start with one card, get some general advice, wisdom, and clarity for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Some insight into May 2018. Outdoors! Nice! Cancer, it's time to get out of the house, to get out of a rut, to go outside, to take a walk. I feel like there's an active energy here and a relaxing energy here. There are solutions when you take yourself outside, walk away from something, connect with nature, connect with animals. Maybe you're volunteering, cleaning up your neighborhood. Maybe you're cleaning up out your garage, um, your porch, your balcony, your yard, working in the garden, um, taking a walk through the woods, um, up a mountain. I feel like there's water here in the fountain. So maybe something near water, near a stream, a beach, um, a river, something like that. Um, I feel like there's an active energy, so maybe you're getting out of the gym and doing something outside, maybe joining a team, doing something with others. This could be walking your dog. This could be outside playing with your children, your grandchildren, playing like you were a kid. Um, it's relieving stress in your world. So maybe you need to bring the outside in a little bit. Maybe open your windows, let some fresh air into your home, maybe bring some plants into your home. But I feel like the solutions come through when you get outside. Um, get outside. I feel like there is a grounding energy as well. So maybe you need to go outside, have a picnic in the park. I see an outdoor cafe. Uh, I see like a stadium. So maybe there is an outdoor concert, some music outside that you can go to, um, an event, maybe a flea market, something like that. Archangel Jophiel is go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Um, I see somebody walking on the beach, picking up seashells, maybe feathers, maybe there are signs outside for you. 
um, maybe follow the clues. I think of a scavenger hunt a little bit with this card. Um, there's a big angel with her wings spread, but she's calm. She's comfortable. She's serene. Um, there are a lot of roses here. So I think of a high vibration flower. So maybe your vibration is changing. Um, I hear getting out of Dodge. Maybe you're going somewhere, getting out of town, getting out of a situation, something that was sticky, um, trapping you. Um, Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. This could be waking up early in the morning, taking a walk around the block, going the long way to work, maybe doing some yoga, meditation, some stretching outside. Um, maybe you run or you do marathons, something like that. There could be a training going on in your world, like a training for something. So that makes me think of music too. Maybe if you play an instrument, you can take your guitar or your instrument outside and practice out there. Um, I want to say birds singing. That made me think of Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. I'll put that below. Let's get clarity for cancer on outdoors. Um, maybe if you're stuck... You know, trying to find a solution or a way to do something. It's walking away from something. Doing something just completely different for a little while. Connecting with nature. Um, relaxing. Getting in tune with your body. Uh, let's see. Let's get clarity for cancer. And we have the Nine of Swords coming through. So this card is kind of harsh. It's staying up all night worrying about something. So I feel like when this card comes through, it's a let go and let God energy. Um, this could be not sleeping at night. Maybe you need to readjust your schedule so you can sleep better, sleep more. Maybe sleep is important. Sometimes this card is nightmares. So feeling like you can't sleep, but it's usually when you have something overwhelming you in your head that's causing blockages somewhere else in your world. So maybe there was something that happened that got you upset. This could be somebody else as well. Um, I feel like you need to put worry aside. Um, have some faith. Have trust in a situation that it will unfold as it should. You'll be at the right place at the right time. So I feel like sleep is important for you. Let's get clarity on this card. Nine is almost completion. So you're almost finished with something. Maybe it was like a, a procrastination energy. Maybe you held off into the very end to get something done. And now you're just like almost like hitting a wall. So maybe pushing something too much is not working for you. It's pushing yourself too much. You're pushing yourself too hard somewhere. So maybe you just need to walk away. Do something completely different so a fresh idea, a fresh solution can come through. Um, let's see. She looks like she has a comfy bed. So maybe look for surroundings that are comfortable for you. Maybe you need to rearrange your room. I want to say feng shui. Um, change your bed a different direction. See if you sleep better. Maybe um, go to bed a little bit earlier or wake up a little bit earlier. Maybe do something really active in the day to wear yourself out so you can sleep better at night. Um, it's putting worry away. When I look at the wallpaper, I see butterflies here. So I think of transformation. I think of the, uh, the caterpillar to the cocoon to the butterfly, so becoming something new. The good thing is with this card is it's almost over. Um, maybe this was a really stressful situation, but it's almost complete. It's almost done. You're ready to put something aside or at least that stress that you were going through. So let's see. Let's get clarity on the Nine of Swords for Cancer. 
going outside, releasing worry, gaining new creative ideas. So pay attention to those aha moments that come through, those new sparks of inspiration. Write them down so you don't forget them. Um, this could also be rearranging your schedule so you don't have so much on your plate in one particular area. Um, maybe you need to give um, some responsibility away, you know, to allow somebody else to do something for you, uh, to help you out. Let's see. Let's get more clarity on... Oh, I'm at the wrong deck. We're going to move along to the Animal Tarot and get another card. Clarity on the Nine of Swords and Outdoors for Cancer. The Nine of Swords could also be a situation you've already gone through. Maybe you're thinking about um, something that you went through, something that was harsh, something that was hard, and you're putting too much focus on what didn't work rather than looking for the hidden blessings in a situation, how strong it made you, what you learned because of what didn't work. So look for the blessings around you. Um, See, let's get clarity on the Nine of Swords. And you have victory coming through. It's going to all work out in the end. This is being noticed for the good job that you're doing, standing out. This could also be you noticing somebody else, noticing somebody else's talents, how good they did. Um, Six of Spring here is the Rescue Dog, mixed breed. I just thought of Rescue Me. I'll put that song below. So maybe you feel rescued finally out of a situation, a sticky situation, stuck in the mud, a rut, um, hitting, a, hitting a brick wall. Maybe just walking away from a situation helps you find a solution. This is a really good card. This means that victory is coming through for you. Allow yourself to shine. Stand out a little bit, you know? Ride that victory parade. This, I feel like there's always a parade with this card here. It's just a dog running in the field, like waving the flag. But I feel like it's because you've gone through the forest. You've gone through the harsh weather. You've been through some battles in order to have this victory. That's why you're so strong. That's why you can do it. So, no, you can do it. You have the talents. You have the right tools around you to come home victorious. So, Six of Spring is like the Six of Rods, the Six of Fire. Um, the Six makes me think of love. So, be loving to yourself. Be loving to others. Try to see something... Um, in another person's perspective, in their shoes. Um, rescue dog mixed breed is you may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you are singled out for special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. Maybe you are just worrying if something was going to turn out, and it actually does. Maybe the opportunity wasn't ready for you before. And instead of worrying about it so much, walk away, do something different, do something fresh, go outside, and wait for that door to open. Um, don't try to knock something down. Wait for the door to open. See what is open and available to you. So this could be also getting more responsibility, you know, if you're becoming the boss at your job or maybe becoming a new parent, something like that. Maybe it worries you if you can handle it, if you can handle the pressure. You can. You can. This means you're going to be victorious. You're, um, I want to say, restoring your energy somewhere. Um, putting healthy things back in your world so your world feels like it's flourishing. So... I love that there's all these colored flowers. Maybe color is important. Flowers. Maybe bring flowers into your home 
Maybe you're recognizing the good job somebody else did, a graduation, a presentation, um, your application. Maybe the application comes through, that interview comes through, and sometimes we get in our own way. You know, when that job is offered, you didn't think about how much you need to change, and it's the change that's scary, not necessarily stepping into that new position. So this could be a new leadership role that comes through for you. Trust yourself, know you can do it, give it a go, see how it works. There may need to be an adjustment in your world, but that's okay. Transition can feel weird, it can feel uncomfortable, but it will feel more comfortable in the future. You'll figure it out. Um, you may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you're singled out for special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. I feel like there's a position that's being made for you specifically, maybe there wasn't the right position available and because of your talents, because of what you have to offer, they're gonna figure out something that can come into your world, like that position will be made for you. Or um, maybe this is going through a lot of interviews. If you're an actor or an actress, I feel like this is a lot of auditions, worrying that you're not getting that job, but maybe it's just the right job, the right time, the right place, saying that line the right way, that brings something into your world. Like you hit the nail on the head. You went through a lot, but in the end, it was totally worth it. Um, so release worry. Go outside, take a day off, do something good for you, get your hair done, buy a new outfit, stand out a little with this card. Let yourself shine. Let your talents shine through. Let's get another card. Clarity for Cancer on the Six of Spring. That's like the victory card in the Minor Arcana. So it might not be a big, huge victory, but it's definitely a door that opens up. It's definitely the, white, the right way through. So I just thought of, um, when I said white, my um, my head went went right to the white stripes. So um, I'll put something by the white stripes below. Um, so the white stripes. Um, and then I'm thinking of the song No One Knows. Uh, I might be getting two bands twisted, but I'll find both songs and I'll put them below for you. Um, Get clarity for the six of spring rescue dog mixed breed maybe you're going uh, to a rescue shelter and adopting a pet um, bringing some new energy into your world taking care of something that was lost um, maybe somebody's coming into your world like a new roommate something like that uh, somebody that you groove with um, I also hear test Maybe you're passing that exam and you were really worried, studying up all night, you know, trying to get something happen, and in the end, you do good, you know? Um, you do a good job, you pass something. If you don't, you can do it again, and it will come through when it should. So let's see, let's get one more card for Cancer. The grouse is coming through, oh, the, not the grouse, the goose. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> goose is coming through for cancer. So uh, I think of a big, abundant, wise energy. This person looks really wise. I feel like uh, there's a medicine wheel here that she's wearing earrings. Not these, but maybe these. But um, almost like a dream catcher. So maybe a dream catcher is beneficial for you. Um, I happen to have a dream catcher here. Um, what it does it, is it brings the vibrations, the dreams, the visualizations through, and it catches the negative ones here and allows only the good dreams to come through. So maybe try a dream catcher, something like that. Um, I also think of an awesome pair of earrings. I'll let you see this card. 
So number 13, the goose. Um, 13 makes me think of death too. So releasing old patterns, releasing your old way of doing something and allowing yourself to feel alive, to feel fresh. The 13 also brings us to a four, which brings stability in your world, a solid foundation somewhere. So maybe you're building something, something now on a solid foundation. You were worried if it would be, if it would work out. I would say don't worry so much, it will. Let's see, 13, goose. I am goose, the guardian of the journey. I am the soul who travels. I am the quest within. I am the greatest story ever told. You have been avoiding the unknown roads ahead in favor of the old and familiar. You are indecisive. It may be time to seek warmer pastures. As, uh, as I am the call to a great life altering journey. So there's something new coming through for you. There may have been a catalyst. Maybe something felt like a curse, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. It actually takes you down a different road that you're supposed to be on, that your soul signed up for. Every great tale starts here. Every hero needs a call. I may inspire a road trip or open your eyes to those wide open spaces on the other side of the fence. There's a song called Fences by Phoenix. I'll put that song below. Rest assured that no matter where I lead you, you will never return home the same. I stir the heart and make it restless. I push you from comfort and wake up your senses. So it's okay to feel a little uncomfortable in that transition. You're gonna feel better as you start down that road. Or if you start down a road and you come back, you're gonna come back changed. This is also perhaps going on a journey, going on a vacation, going somewhere you've never gone before. I push you from comfort and wake up your senses. You will travel to those far off places as I lead your spirit onward. So pursue those urges to go somewhere, to do something, to go someplace different. You are the quest. You are searching for the new. You are the adventurous hero. You are Goose. So it's time for a new adventure. It's time to start down a different road, to do something a different way, to get out of the house and enjoy yourself connect with nature. I hope this reading was helpful for you guys. I love you so much, Cancer, and I'll see you soon. Bye.